All right, everybody. I'm gonna be telling you how you can use the foliage painter to paint interactable resources onto your game maps in Unreal Engine 4.15. So as you can see, I've started with a pretty much blank project. The only thing I've done is I've imported this static mesh and you notice I've, I've just called it resource mesh. Uh, one thing before I get into anything is that I'm not going to be telling you how you how you would set up a full system I'm only going to give you the very basics for getting a system rolling so all of the overhead all of the back end not going to be walking you through it I'm just going to be teaching you how you can uh, just get this up and uh, up and running so uh, I've got two monitors so when I open things they like to open on this other monitor but that's fine so I've opened up my mesh and all I want to do is make sure that my collision settings are appropriate and that looks like an okay uh, collision setting for this mesh. This is just a random mesh, uh, nothing special with it at all. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to create our actor for our resource and we will call it BP resource. I'm not going to do a folder structure or anything, just nice and simple. And in the event graph, we're going to go on ahead and have a custom event here. And we're going to call this interacted. And all the interacted is going to do, because remember, I'm not teaching you how to do the full system. All the interacted is going to do is print a string. So we're going to go ahead and get our print string node. And we're going to say, yay, I was interacted with. And... We're going to create us a static mesh as the root. One thing that's pretty important is that your static mesh has to be the exact same or it won't look right. So we're just gonna drop our static mesh in here. And while we're in here, we can go ahead and make sure that it is set up to be block all. That's good. We can close this. We won't ever have to open that again. And, uh, oops. I didn't mean to create the level. <laughs> uh, we will create our player character. We will say BP, actually, we will create our player character based on default pawn, because I don't want to do camera setup. We will call this BP collector. And in here, and I don't recommend that you do this, we're going to say when the left mouse button is pressed, we're going to do a line trace, line trace by channel, and we want to start with our actor location. And we'll just move this up. And we will get actor forward vector. Um, nah, nah, we'll do this properly. We will get player camera manager, we will get camera rotation, we will then get forward vector here, and we will have it trace forward, say 1500. All right, so. We'll break the hit result. We're gonna take our hit actor, we're gonna cast, uh, not our hit actor, our hit component. We're gonna cast to uh, hierarchical instant static mesh component, as I butchered the name. We're going to get instance transform. And we want this in world space. And we're gonna go ahead and spawn actor from class at this transform and this will just be our BP resource now this is part of what I was talking about where I'm not going to teach you like all the back-end stuff all of the setup for now the only thing that we care about is that the resource actor actually gets spawned we don't care about if it's the right resource we don't care about any kind of setup at all we just we don't care uh, and then we can remove instance 
and we're getting a bit of spaghetti but that's fine and uh, we're gonna go ahead and call interacted and you'll see why we're doing that in a moment um, I'm actually gonna clean this up just a, a little bit just for sanity's sake There we go. Now, if the cast failed, we want to cast to our BP resource right here, and we want to we want to call it interactive. All right. So that's the player character set up. We're going to also want a game mode, and we will just call this game mode I will open the wrong actor because I like to misclick um right here we will swap to our BP collector uh, actually we'll go back into the BP collector and just for fun we'll have it draw debug for duration and yep I just wanted to make sure that I set that up and we will select our our game mode. Alright, so last thing that we need to do is we need to come over to... Uh, I guess we could just do foliage. Right here. Yeah, okay, we could do foliage right here. Alright, so... Um, select your foliage type. And you're going to scroll down here. And you can set your foliage to block all. Now, of course, if you had a custom trace channel for this purpose, you could set it up right here. You just have to close and reopen the editor for the foliage tool to load this. But you don't need to because you could just use visibility if you use block all. Um, so I can, uh, I can go ahead and paint onto this landscape here. And I can drag this over here. All right, now when I play, you can see that wherever I look, I'm chasing. So if I click right here, yeah, I was interacted with, yeah, I was interacted with, right? Yeah, I was interacted with, right? And if I didn't like these being where they were, I could come in and say, all right, I want them over there instead. And uh, yeah, it was interacted with, yeah, it was interacted with, yeah, it was interacted with. All right, so what if you want it to be a little bit more complicated? Well, we could delay for two seconds and then we could destroy, not session. Uh, we could destroy actor right here. Yeah, it was interacted with destroyed yeah I was interacted with destroyed and you can interact with it quite a bit and then it destroys itself and uh, that's it thank you for watching and I may or may not make more videos